about 2 to the power of 2 divided by 2 to the power of 2. Alam na natin yung quotient rule, di ba? Kapag magde-divide tayo ng parehas ang base, just copy the base, magiging 2. And then, subtract the exponent. So, 2 minus 2 is 0. So, it will become 2 to the power of 0. You also know that 2 to the power of 2 is the same as 2 times 2, and that's 4. So, magiging 4 divided by 4. And 4 divided by 4 is 1. So, ibig sabihin, 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Is it quite confusing? So, I'll show you this. Alam natin that 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. When I increase the exponent, that as yung value niya, let's say we have 2 to the power of 2, it will become 4. And then 2 to the power of 3, we have 8. 2 to the power of 4, we have 16. So, as I increase the exponent, pinumultiply ko lang ng minumultiply yung sagot kay 2. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, kapag binaba ko yung exponent, let's say, from 2 to the power of 4, gagawin ko siyang 3. I just need to divide it, di ba? So, 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, ibig sabihin, when I raise 2 to 0, I just need to divide 2 by 2. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, this is what we call 0 exponent. So, 0 exponent means any number, any variable raised to 0, the answer is 1. Regardless how big or small the number, basta ni siya kay 0, it's always equal to 1. Let's say 1,000 raised to 0. So that's 1. Quantity of 3, a squared, b raised to 6, c raised to 7. Still, dahil may, may open and close parentheses at nakaraise kay 0 yan, equal kay 1 pa rin yan. And remember that that is under 0 exponent. Now, when I decrease the exponent once more, what can I get? Let's say, 2 to the power of 0 na yan, di ba? Kapag pinaba pa natin, let's have 2 raised to negative 1. So, paano kunin yung value? Kanina, habang pinaba natin yung exponent, nagdi-divide lang tayo by 2, di ba? So, kung nandito na tayo, magiging 1 divided by 2. 1 divided by 2 is what? That's 1 over 2 or 0 0.5. This one is what we call negative exponent. What is negative exponent? Any number, any variable raised to a negative exponent, you just have to write 1 as the numerator and then lalagay mo yung base sa denominator with positive exponent. Let's say we have x to the power of 4 over x to the power of 5. So we know that if x is raised to 4, we just need to multiply 4 times to itself. Magiging ganyan lang yan. Ito naman, dahil raised to 5, so it will become x times x times x times x times x. So dahil may pairs dyan, pwede natin i-cancel since it's equal to 1. So makakancel to, ito, ito, ito. E magwala nang natira sa unahan. Sabi natin, pagparas ang numerator yung denominator, that's equal to 1. So magic yan, may 1 yan sa taas. So, so that x. So, our answer is 1 over x. Okay? So, applying quotient rule, pwede nating sabihin na dahil parehas ang base, we can just copy the base. Anong ginagawa natin kay exponent pag nagdi-divide? We have to subtract. So, magiging 4 minus 5. So, it will give you x is equal to 4 minus 5. May 4 ka. Ay, gusto mong binalimang piece. May suklay ka pa ba? O meron kang kulang? May kulang ka. And that's negative 1. Okay? So, hindi pwedeng negative ang exponent. Sabi natin, kapag negative ang exponent, gagawin natin 1 yung nasa taas, si numerator, copyin natin siya, pero with a positive exponent. So, parehas lang yung magiging sagot niya. Let's take a lot of examples. Suppose, si given is 5 to the power of 3 divided by 5 to the power of 5. Ang una natin kailangan gamitan dyan ay ang quotient rule. Kasi parehas yung base, tapos division siya. So, dahil parehas yung base, we just need to copy the base. And then, what are going to do with the exponents? We're going to subtract. So, it will become 3 minus 5. So, simplifying this, it will give us 5 raised to 3 minus 5. So, that's negative 2. Okay? So, dahil 5 raised to negative 2, it's not yet simplified. Pag negative ang exponent, kailangan daw, lagyan natin ng 1 yung numerator, tas ibababa natin to dito. Pero, with the positive exponent na. So, it will become 1 over 5 to the power of 2. Pero 5 to the power of 2 can still be simplified. So it will give us 1 over 25. 
another example, suppose the given is 4a to the 4th divided by 16a to the 6th. Kapag ganyan yung given, tingnan muna natin siya maigi. Let's start with the numerical coefficients. 4 divided by 16. Eh, mam, hindi naman pwede. Pwede, pero magiging decimals, di ba? Ang gagawin natin dyan, pwede natin siyang ilowest term. Wait, parehas kay 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So, magiging ganyan yung sagot natin. And then, parehas yung base natin na A, pwede natin kopyahin, kaso nga lang, yung exponent natin dyan magiging negative. Kasi 4 minus 6, that's negative 2. Pero, pwede natin ilagay yung base na yun, tsaka yung exponent niya, kung saan siya mas mataas. So, dahil mas mataas yung exponent dito, dyan natin siya ilagay sa ilalim, a squared. Okay? So, your answer will become 1 over 4 a squared. What about this one? 25 b raised to 7 divided by 5 b raised to 5. So, dito, 25 can be divided by 5, tama? So, that's 5. Tapos, dito naman sa base natin, pag tinignan mo pareha, so you can apply quotient law. Plus, mas mataas yung exponent ng nasa taas. So, dyan natin ilalagay yung magiging sagot. So, B, then 7 minus 5 is 2. So, this one is your answer. Compare natin siya dito. Binaligtad ko naman. So, yung nasa denominator dito, nilagay ko sa numerator. Tapos, yung nasa numerator, binaba ko. Tingnan natin kung paano siya isolve. So, dito, 5 divided, uh, 5 divided by 25. Natin siyang gawin, pag mas mataas yung nasa denominator, pero divisible naman kay numerator, lowest term natin. So, ang lowest term nito, parehas sila pwede i-divide kay 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 25 divided by 5 is 5. So, magiging 1 over 5 yan. Pagdating naman dito, dahil parehas naman ang base, kinokopy lang yung base, di ba? Pero ilagay natin siya sa kung saan may mas mataas yung exponent. So, nasa inalim. So, ilagay natin dito yung B. Then, subtract the exponent. 7 minus 5 and that is 2. So, this one is your answer. We're done with the discussion. So, I already discussed six laws of exponents. Ano-ano yun? A product rule. We have power of a power. We have quotient rule. Power of a quotient. We have zero exponent and then negative exponent. So, now, uh, answering the six expressions apply laws of exponents. Okay, let's start with number 1. It's division so we can apply quotient rule. So, tingnan natin. So, 9 divided by 27, pwede natin yung lowest term. So, that is 1 over 3. Tama ba? 9 divided by 9 is 1. 27 divided by 9 is 3. So, next natin yung variables. X, parehas naman yung base. Kinokopya natin yan. Pero dahil mas mataas yung exponent ng nasa ilalim, doon natin siya ilalagay. So, we have X. And then, subtract. 9 minus 4, that's 5. Okay? What about y? So, parehas yung y natin, pero mas mataas yung uh, exponent ng nasa numerator. So, dito tayo maglalagay ng y. And then, 10 minus 7, that's 3. Okay? So, dahil meron namang katabi si 1 dito na variable, magkali na lang natin to. Okay? So, this one is the final answer. Number 2. So, it's multiplication. So, dahil pare-paras naman yung base, you can apply product rule. So, unayin muna natin yung numerical coefficient. So, 4 times 3, that's 12. Pare-parehas yung letra. So, you copy A, B, C. And then, we're going to add exponents. Yung A natin, ang exponent dito ay 3. Dito may 1 yan. So, that's 4. Sa B natin, we have 4 and 6. So, that's 10. 2 plus 2, that is 4. So, yan yung sagot. Okay, next. So, dito, ano pwede natin gamitin? So, dahil meron na tayong mga exponent sa loob, tapos meron pa sa labas, yung may use power of a power. So, we're in, you need to distribute the exponent to each term. So, magiging, pag tinignan mo nga dito, 5 raised to 0, that's 1 na eh, di ba? That is under 0 of exponent. So, pero para makita nyo, pwede natin gawin yan as 5 raised to 0 times 2. And then, we have a, yung next term. So, 2 times 2. Yung next natin ay b raised to 6 times 2. Dinidistribute ko lang itong 2 na nasa labas, ha? Then, we have C raised to 3 times 2. So, simplifying this, 5 raised to 0 times 2, that's 5 raised to 0. Or, that is 1 na. Sige, 1. Tapos, ito, magiging A raised to 4. Tapos, ito, 6 times 2, that is 12. Then, C, 3 times 2, that's 6. So, simplifying this, Dahil ito ay 1, ang matitira na lang ay ito. At yan yung final answer. 
Next, we have this. So, dahil division, pare-pareha sa mga um, base natin dyan, you may apply quotient rule, wherein you will just copy the, the, the base and then subtract the exponents. So, dito, parehas ng 5 yung exponent nila. Cancel, kasi 1 yan. And then, sa n, saan may mas mataas na exponents? Sa numerator. So, doon tayo maglalagay ng n. 8 minus 6, that's 2. Sa p naman, may mas mataas yung exponent na nasa denominator. So, we have p here. Then, subtract, that's 3. So, that is our final answer. Next, we have this. So, ito, parang kagaya lang nito. You need to distribute power of a power. So, we have 5 raised to 5 times 5. Then, x raised to 10 times uh, 5. So, it will give us b raised to 25, x raised to 50. So, yun yung sagot. Okay, yung number 6, mukha siyang mahirap, pero hindi yan. So, ganito yung pinakamadaling paraan, ha? Kasi, you need to apply negative exponent. Yan. Kapag ang exponent mo ay negative, pero nasa numerator, ibaba mo lang yan, tas gawin mong positive yung exponent niya. Sa first term muna tayo mag-focus, ha? Parehas naman yung 2. Ngayon, kung dito sa ilalim, negative pa rin yung exponent niya, lagay natin sa taas, pero positive na exponent niya. Gets? Next, x to, x to. Parehas, apply quotient rule. Saan may mas mataas ang exponent, doon tayo maglalagay. Nasa numerator siya. 3 minus 2, that's 1. Hindi ko na kailangang isulat yung 1 dito, di ba? And then, sa y, kung parehas may negative exponent, ganun pa rin. Dahil negative to, lagay natin sa ilalim. Dahil negative to, lagay natin sa taas. Okay? So, simplifying this, we have 2 squared, that's 4. So, we have x, y cubed. Tapos, magiging, ito ay 8, tapos y to the fifth. Are we done? Not yet. Kasi ito, pwede pa to i-lowest term eh. That's 2. Tama ba? Tapos yung x, dahil wala naman siyang quarter sa ilalim, doon lang siya sa taas. And then yung y, parehas, na meron sa numerator and denominator, we need to copy y, pero ilalagay natin siya sa ilalim dahil mas mataas yung exponent niya. 5 minus 3, that's 2. So that is our final answer. Hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching.